Last week, we lost. Having our strategy be turned against us as we got bested by Gravy and his Indiana Moan. Shut up! But the situation for us has not changed one bit, as we are still one victory away from making playoffs. As we now go one on one against Drewby of the New York Marowatters. But this match is kind of secondary to me, for once again, there is a future to be redeemed. When this season began, I talked a big game about Lucario, drawing upon my history with him as I competed in my very second season, proclaiming just how different things would be this time around, now that I gained all this experience. But I was wrong. From suffering an unlucky burn, to being needlessly sacked in the other game, all in just one turn. Throughout the season, I've taken names with a bus that is making amends and a paradox that people resonate with the adult industry. But despite what others might think, I know that you can match these very same heights. For this season might be coming to an end, but you and you alone are in control of how your story gets finished. So what do you say? Are you with me? I'm feeling full of beans. Right, so by the looks of his team, he pretty much brought a great portion of what I expected him to with some surprises here and there because honestly speaking, I was expecting the Ladias, but I'm guessing that uh, like he decided that it was not worth it. But I am definitely not happy to see the Reggie steal because if it ends up being the set that I am fearing of, then we're gonna be here for a long time. Basically. But yeah, my lead is 100% JBL because it just, it just does phenomenally against the vast majority of his squad. And hopefully, like, the fact that there's no Slush Rush users makes me happy. But also, I do need to be very careful of the Reggie still because, once again, I, can't, I cannot allow this thing to get enabled. Right, so he does lead off with his Paldean Tauros as I lead off with my JDL. And turn one, I'm going to find out exactly what kind of set you are. You are Intimidati, which is good to know, which is good to know. As right now, I am going to take a picture because I forgot to do that shit. In this sequence, it's not necessarily the worst possible thing but I don't think that I have much of a reason to stay in because I don't want to take a body press to the face. I don't want to take any of that shit, right? So I think Alamomola is a very free switch in to dedicate to here and now. Swaps out, okay. Who's he gonna go out into though? Samurai the Unrivaled. Okay, so that's a, I would say that's a pretty decent, ex like decent trade from my behalf, right? A pretty decent position, uh, position in terms of, you know, like, uh, for me, because I'm gonna be able to go out in my Alma Mola, and I should be able to first of all scout to see exactly what kind of a set you are. Because I want to know if you're adamant or uh, adamant or jolly. But yeah, my play here is to go straight for a flip turn right now. Right, so he is gonna go for ceaseless edges. 334. Okay. Are you choice bandit, sir? Is that? Oh, your life orb. Okay, okay. So now I'm gonna run a qu run a quick count. Okay. Uh huh. Life orb. So that does actually look to be adamant for me. Because you do not do that much damage to me unless you're adamant. Which is good to know. Uh, uh, this gives me, this should give me a free switch into my, uh, like, Lucario. And Lucario seems to be a great Pokemon in this matchup. Because re realistically speaking, there's nothing that wants to come in. Straight up. I don't think anything wants to come in, uh, come in on this. Yeah, his R sphere switching is uh, R sphere switching is non-existent. So I'm going to go straight for that here and now. Yeah, because his R sphere he doesn't have a single R sphere switching at all. Nothing wants to come in and take a modest life orb R sphere to the face. Yep, he's gonna swap out. And right now, something is gonna have to take the blunt force of an R sphere to the face, which I don't think anything about wants to be honest. Right, so Taurus is gonna come out, and that's completely fine by me because he is gonna get the intimidate off, but that's irrelevant. Cause this is life orb as hell, bro. Oh my god, that's some great ass damage. That's generally great ass damage. And that Taurus might just be in range, honestly. This seems to be in vacuum wave range right now, yeah. Cuz uh, 25%. And even if you're like fucking max HP for whatever reason, yeah, no, you die, you 100% die. So I am going to go for my priority here now and pick this thing off. And Matthew will very likely get the first. If he has upper hand, oh shit. Yo, I didn't even respect up. Oh, thank God he doesn't have upper hand. <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> Down goes that Feldian Tauros. 
uh, as right now, what what's gonna happen is essentially him very likely going needing to go out to his uh, the fucking Alolan Nine Tails, but that's fine because even if he goes out to his Alolan Nine Tails, I will be able to go out to my Globra. I will be able to click Brick Break, and I'm gonna be able to stop that shit here and now. And I'm boots on like pretty much almost all my Pokemon, so it's fine. I think we're still in a pretty good position because against his Reggie Steel, I should be fine. Against his, uh, you know, his Sui and Samurott, I should be fine. Basically, I should be fine like nine times out of ten, all day, every day. Right, so Earth Power actually has a 36.3% chance to do a KO me, which is really unfortunate, which meaning that I don't think I'll be able to go out to my Slowbro just yet. Yeah, I'm gonna need to go out to my JBL here. And honestly, I think, you know, health on this thing is not as important because there is no Latias. There's no Latias. So. I should be fine, I think. Like, I'm, uh, I don't want to take the blunt force of an earth, uh, blunt force of uh, earth power, or you know, like a meteor beam or whatever shit, right? Yeah. Now, if he's gonna go for an earth power, that should be fine because that does absolutely nothing. As right now, my play is to pretty much just go for an earthquake. Because the thing is, if, if because you know, because of him ha having access to Mortal Spin and my Steel type being a Lucario, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna, you know, make that play. There's no need to. Ideally, I will be able to set up my rocks later on in the game, but... Okay, he's gonna swap out. Who, who does he want to take the hit, though? The Mammo Swine. Okay, no, I'll take that. Anything that ends up putting this thing in vacuum wave range is something I will cert I will happily take and then some. And I get a very nasty crit, too. Oh my gosh, bro, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry right now. Right, so in this sequence, unless he has freeze dry, I should be big chilling right now. Yeah, unless he happens to have access to freeze dry, I should be fine. I can go out in my Undine, I can flip turn out, and I should be able to proceed from there. I uh, I think, of course. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Maybe I could have stayed in too, but is there much of a necessity towards doing just that yet? I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh no. He has freeze dry. Great prep. That but that did nothing. No! Ah oh, man. I mean I guess it's I guess it's hacks for hacks, but like come on. That is so unfortunate. Please, 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 please break through. He's gonna go for an earthquake. Okay, that's not gonna that's not gonna kill me. Please, please, please break through. <laughs> oh, there we go. Undine is gonna be able to talk instantaneously, knock out that mammoth swine where it stands, and yeah, we're gonna be able to keep our Alamomola. That's such a massive relief. That is such a massive relief, it's not even funny. So now, I could just go out in my gouging to be honest. But is that really needed as of yet? I do I can't say. I can't say so, to be honest. Miss, yeah, I mean, JBL is fine. I think JBL is fine here, but then again, that would give him a free switch into his uh, Hisui and Samrod, which I don't necessarily want. And if I go out into Rhea Ripley, that that's going to give him a free switch into his Registeel, which is another can of worms entirely. I think Broly is fine. Yeah, Broly is fine for now. Let's go out into Broly for now. Should be fine. Because I'm heavy-duty booty. So it don't matter. Okay, Glamour is gonna come out. Makes sense. As right now, I have no bloody business staying in here. I'm gonna get out of here right now. JBL, your time is now, buddy. I will say though, I'm kind of surprised that uh, Freeze Knight did, did not do it KO the Alamomola. I don't know what kind of a set this is, but we'll take it. We'll take it for sure. As he is going to... What is he going to go for? Vessel of Ruin. He's going to go for a Power Gem. There we go. Okay. We're fine. We're almost... We're, we're in a pretty decent spot, of course. But, again, don't count your chickens before they hatch. He's going to swap out, though. Who's he going to go out into? Hmm. It's me and Samurai. Okay, wait. If, if he lets me have this, then... I'll be very happy with that. Okay. Very good chip damage. Because now, he should very likely die the next time he comes in. Obviously, the unfortunate thing here is, is that I can't necessarily bring in my Undine. Oh, shit. Okay, no, wait. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you go. He goes for a razor shell. He's gotta be able to connect. Unfortunate that I timed out there. It's definitely unfortunate that I timed out there. Because otherwise, I might I might have actually just gone out of my Alamomola there. But my play right now is to once again go out in my Matthew and claim one with a vacuum weight. Yeah. That to me seems to be the best course of action. And once again, I am dedicating to plays while not knowing exactly what set you are. But then again, it should be fine, right? But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna let priority fuck me over here. So vacuum wave is a very free play. I'm gonna go for that here and now. And we should hopefully be bing chilling, as they say. So, I mean, the situation is not the worst possible case just yet. Who's gonna go out into though? Gamora, okay. I mean, if, I, if I'd gone for an Aura Sphere, I think I should, I would have been a far better position. Yeah, that's not a 2 KO, regrettably. Okay. Huh? I'm gonna make a super aggro play right now. Mm-hmm, come on back. Yep, Rhea Ripley is gonna come out. Are you gonna go for a power gem, sir? Nope, he is not. Thank God. So the play is so the aggro play is certainly going to work out for me. As right now, I am going to go straight for another uh, straight for an earth power. Yes. What is your swap in, sir? Are you gonna sack off your Isuian Samurot? No, he, he lets his Reggie still take damage. Wait, I'll take that. I will take I will take that. I will take that anytime, any place, anywhere. Now, it's important to know that Registeel can have access to this move called Thunder Wave. But is that necessarily the worst possible case? I can't say it is, to be honest. Alternatively, I could just go out of my Undine and then flip turn out. Because this might just be my best chance to do so. So, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Because I need to revive my Alamomola. Although, was that really needed? I'm not sure, honestly. Okay, he's gonna go for every stem. Phew! Okay, that's good. So now, I need to check some speed stats. 136, 149. I forgot to put zero IV, so I do unfortunately end up outspeeding this thing. Well, I... I mean, just uh, go for a flip turn, bruh. Right? That's a fine play in itself, I suppose. Okay, so we're gonna be able to get more, get some health back, which is nice. But right now, I think I have to go out of my Broly here. Because your heavy slam and your moves that Bruh. or your iron defense. Okay, so you are gonna be that set. That's fair. That's completely fair. But I think you're way too chipped down, bro. I mean, two Regis, uh, two Flare Blitz hurts him more than one. So. I am gonna actually go for that here. Yeah, two Flare Blitz are gonna be what hurts him more. Okay, there we go. And the next one should pick him off. He has rest. Ooh, okay. So he's gonna be that set, fair enough. Fair enough for sure. Yeah, if I actually went for a Dragon Dancer, then it would've been pretty nice. Would've been pretty nice for sure. I am fine with the idea of letting this thing go down so as long as Aura Sphere ends up picking this thing off. Is my is my hypothesis behind this, okay. Mm-hmm. And now I'm gonna go for a Blitz. You're Chesto Bear, so you're not Choppel. You're Chesto, so you're not Choppel, it's fine. Okay, nice half, nice half health. As what are you going to go for, sir? You're gonna go for a body press, yes. And that's gonna pick up my Broly. So, as unfortunate as it is, I don't think it's... I'm not really sweating it too, too much. Because now Matthew can just come in and pick this thing off with an R Sphere. Like, straight up. Maybe there was a better way for me to have, you know, uh, undergone this exchange. But I think I should be fine. Because Matthew is going to claim another one right now. Mm-hmm. Ours here is going to come up. Down goes the Registeel. As right now... I mean... Maybe I'm, uh, maybe uh, Healing Wish might be overdue. 
Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll probably need to click Healing Wish. Like, for example, so, so here's the thing. The reason why I'm not stressing out too, too much is because his Hisui and Samurai is literally about to push up daisies. And once, I'm, once I bring in my Globro, I think it should be checkmate. Man, if I Rs here, I would have been fine. Fuck it. I think Big Shot will survive. Let's, let, we'll pray, okay? We will pray. <laughs> All right, come on, Big Shot. All right, he's gonna go for a power gem. Got him. Okay, 246. So now, I'm gonna need to run a calc. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna need to go straight for a uh, psychic here now. I eat an art power. He's gonna swap out, okay. I mean, he's kinda... Oh, he's gonna go out to his Alolan Ninetales. Hold on a second. If you're gonna allow me to do that, then I should be fine, right? Yeah, I think I should be fine. Because I'm gonna go straight for a shell sidearm here and now. As far as as far as I'm concerned, Glamora is the only, you know, threat that you have, and your Hisuian Samrod is literally about to push up daisies. So I can literally go to Enamorous, click Art Power two times, and that should be checkmate. Alright. He's gonna go for a freeze dry. That's not gonna that's not gonna uh, pick me off. Please don't get a freeze. Thank you very much, sir. A shell sidearm is gonna come off. And that is going to be the easy the, that is going to be the cleanest to it KO you could ever possibly have. As right now, there is really I mean, let's keep some differential, why not? Why don't we? Let's keep some differential. Because here's the thing, folks. This might seem unneeded from my behalf, but I want to make sure that I have the best possible, you know, placement as far as playoffs go. Okay? Thank you very much. Slack off is gonna come off. As right now, I will go for one more if he allows me to, and I will be and I will pick him off in the turn the turn afterwards. So if you want to go for Encore, if you have that, that's fine, I suppose. No, that's fine. That's definitely fine. Yep, he's gonna go for another freeze dry. That's not gonna do that's not gonna pick me off. I'm just so horrified, folks. I'm so horrified <laughs> of getting frozen again. <laughs> okay. But yeah, there's uh no reason to drag this on anymore. I'm gonna go for a brick break just in case he wants to pop for uh, pop that here and now. I mean the, uh, the Aurora Veil, I mean. Mm-hmm. Brick break. There we go. Down goes the Alolan Nine Tails. And his final set of Pokemon is his Hisui and Samurott. It's his Hisui and Samurott as well as his uh Glamora. Glamora. Yeah. If he if, if he goes for if he goes for a razor shell, then you know what? Well played, sir. Well, I mean, if he goes for a razor shell here, I mean he shouldn't, cause I have a fucking healthy ass Alomomola. He goes to a razor shell. Okay. Honestly, I deserve that. I absolutely deserve that shit. <laughs> but but your student Tamron is gonna die now. Okay. And right now, there is nothing left for me to do other than going out into my 100% healthy Big Shot, and I believe that should be checkmate. Yeah. Well played, though. Good play. I definitely, I definitely appreciate the initiative that you took just there. You took there just now. But yeah. One more Psychic for the road, and that should be GG's. Oh, thank God. Okay, it goes for Earth Power. No crit, thankfully. No crit, as one more psychic is gonna finish this thing off. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all kinds, the Thunderclap Titans have now clapped their way into playoffs of the PPL. Meaning that for every full season that I've competed, I've always made playoffs. Woohoo! Shout out to Drew, of course, because honestly speaking, despite whatever season he has, he's such an unbridled source of optimism and an absolute joy like i got genuinely nothing but love for the dude and uh i implore you all to please check out his content if you haven't but yeah matthew's matthew finally got some kills pretty happy with this match minus what i did in the end because that was unneeded but yeah there's really nothing left for me to say of course other than thank you very much for watching folks if you enjoyed this in any way feel free to drop a like my name is the user gunner have yourselves a glorious day and i shall most certainly see you all on the flip side wish <laughs>